Hey everybody, this is Casey Maxwell with Art of Divine Touch. I am at North Mountain Park in Ashland right now. You can see this gorgeous view behind me. It's just epic. I am in Ashland on my way to a show up and make money workshop hosted by my lovely friend Molly Mandelberg. She is the founder of Wild Hearts Rise Up and she can really help teach you how to transform and transmute the concepts you have around money and how you make money. Being inspired by this workshop, I wanted to take a little journey and talk to you about my perspective around money as well. So we've been conditioned most of our lives. Everybody's been raised in the world for the last few centuries around money being the root of all evil. And I think that is because most people have tried to cultivate or create the world that we live in today, utilizing money in a sneaky or mischievous concept or trying to make money that way in a sneaky concept. And therefore we have this theory around money just not being good at all, yet people are the ones that have created the world that we live in today where money is a basis of survival, um, growth, and just being able to live in this reality and in this dimension at all. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about with my perspective money as a form of energy and how a huge part of us denies our humanity and the concepts that we have been raised around, how we've been conditioned, um, and for that reason has made us have this, this upsetting relationship with the money that we've created and the value that we've put on the material world. I want us to kind of sink into the thought process for a minute that money is not good or bad, um, evil or blissful, but really through the concept in your mind, um, being that mind is all, you have the option and full capability to change your perception around how you perceive to make money. For me, I found that in the moments when I am really struggling with money and my concept of how I feel about money, it's it becomes a, a vicious cycle. I get down on myself and I feel like I'm having to struggle to get by. Maybe that month was really tight for me and put me in a questionable position um, with paying bills or finding the gas that I need and even just to simply eat. And once I start feeding this thought process around how I think that I can't make money, I'm instantly putting the vibration out into the universe that I'm not deserving of it, that I'm not worthy of it, because of this negative concept I have around it. Um, if you watched the video earlier around me talking about positive self-talk, you'll notice that I will constantly come back to this, um, how your word and your communication with yourself is the communication with the entire universe. So it's important to become aware of the moment that you're really thinking that you're struggling with money um, and that you're putting this vibration out into the universe that you're not deserving enough. The universe thinks that you don't think you're worthy to make money, that you're not really believing in yourself and what you have to offer the world and what you're creating and what you're cultivating to be able to make money in a positive way. And this comes back to your word, this comes back to your belief systems and the stories that have been written throughout history, the stories that have been written in your mind. So this is a little inspirational video to kind of give some perspective around being able to look at money a new way. And I really think that it's important for everybody because this is the world we live in, because this is the world that humanity has cultivated to not perceive it in such a negative concept anymore, but to see it in a new light as just a form of energy, as a bargain or trade like anything else that you may be bargaining or trading for. Um, I often have just put myself in the position to just know that it will come to me as I need it. 
Um, and in the past, that has actually been a kind of smaller thought process around just getting money as I need it. That's kind of small-minded in this way that you're not looking at the bigger picture to believe that you can be making an abundance of money um, in many ways or many forms, sharing your gifts and abilities, um, working hard and loving what you do, which comes down to another factor, um, really appreciating who you are, what you have to offer, and knowing your self-worth is how you cultivate money, how you believe in money. If you're working and doing something that you don't enjoy or isn't self-satisfying or isn't a part of the greater scheme of things in the world we live in, it will be harder for you to really believe that you're deserving of that money and to be able to cultivate and call it into your life. So in those moments when we get stuck and we get confused, we come back to our positive self-talk, we come back to the word within us, our self-belief, and we just have to transform these senses, these theories. Um, and it's more about a feeling. You have to type, tap into the vibration of what it would feel like if you have already cultivated this money, if you have already brought it in to your, to your being, into your physical realm around you to be able to utilize in whichever way you choose. Having good discernment and trusting your intuition is a huge part about this because once you become aware of how you're communicating with yourself and the universe, it becomes a lot easier to jump right in and change that thought process instantly to look and perceive the world around you in a different way but to feel it in your gut, in your being, to really sink deep with it. Um, not to just think it, but to also think it and to also feel it. We are a soul in this human body. We have these sensory perceptions. We have the ability to connect with the entire world around us. So this is huge, huge in the sense of not just changing the sentence, not just thinking something different, about the way that you perceive anything in life, let alone money, but to also feel it internally, on a soul level, emotionally, and really accept it within yourself. Don't allow room for doubt or uncertainty or confusing thought processes, but instantly transmute and transform those thought processes. So with that being said, I really hope this inspires or empowers you to go out and really take the time to perceive the stories that you've built around money or the stories that other people have built around money, um, how we've been conditioned and how the world has evolved and how we're moving into a different phase within the universe, within consciousness and within all of humanity. Things are growing to exponential heights and because money is a part of the world and because it is technically a form of energy, it's good to know that you have the ability to bring it into your life and whichever way you choose, through trust, through belief, and through strong foundations in your soul around how you perceive the world around you. So I hope this has been a little bit inspiring and empowering. There's other things that I've touched a little bit about when it comes to perception and your intention and also transmutation, as well as getting into later how we perceive our humanness will be another video around that entirely. So with that, I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for tuning in and I will share more later.